I'm Don Naples from Wood Artistry, LLC. And in this video, I'd like to introduce you to the honing guide and how it's used with the lap sharp. Now, first of all, the honing guide made by Wood Artistry is a standalone honing guide that can be used on water stones or abrasive paper as well as with the lap sharp. It has a, a series of numbers on the side for setting the angle and it just clicks into place. You can just snap the, uh, the angle of this so that you can move it from uh, angle to angle. It has an integrated reference bar and what we'll do is we'll select the chisel, put the chisel in up against the reference bar and in this case the refer reference bar has two positions. It has what's known as the zero degree position and then if you turn the reference bar over it has a stepped position where you add two and a half degrees to the reading on the side. So in this case we'll set it up so that we have the two and a half degrees and put this in put it in the correct way so that it's up against the reference bar. Now there's a self-squaring guide that's on the side of the um, of the honing guide so that you can use that if you don't already have uh, a square edge. You can slide your chisel over to the the recess here and it will line it up for you 90 degrees. Uh, you can also use the reference bar, if your tool is at 90 degrees, you can rest the edge against that reference bar, make sure that it's square, and that will also be 90 degrees. So in this case, we're set. We'll tighten these up so that this doesn't move on it at all. And at this point, we can remove the reference bar. So there's two little screws on the side. Take the reference bar off. Now, there's a roller and a stainless steel tube here. We're going to remove those. They just snap out. Take the roller off and take the stainless steel tube. Install that on the bar that comes with the new lap bar. Put our pins in to hold that in place and we're ready to go. Now what we do is We'll start the lap sharp and spray a little bit of water onto the surface to act as a lubricant. And the lap sharp is reversible so that you can go whichever way you prefer for the rotation. We'll snap the honing guide into position and at this point we'll start the machine but not have the tool touching the abrasive. We start it and then come down until it just touches and then back up again back down touch and touch so that we don't leave it down there for so long that we create a lot of friction heat in spite of the fact that the rotational speed of the lap sharp is slow it's 170 rpm at 60 hertz and the fact that we're using water you still don't want to create excessive friction heat that could damage the uh, temper of the tool. Okay, so at this point we'll remove just by snapping it off of the tube and we can look at the edge and see how well we're doing with the edge. When we have this uh, established so that it's sharp again, this is uh, at 5 micron. I'll remove this, take this off, switch over to a one micron lapping film. You could also use the one micron polish paper, but for such a narrow fine tool, a lapping film will do a better job without uh, tearing up the uh, polish paper. Now for this, we want to use a, uh, a lubricant such as Formula 409 or WD-40 uh, rather than just water as a lubricant. Okay, now that using uh, Formula 409 or WD-40 as a lubricant, 
what happens is when you're working with these very, very fine abrasives, the swarf will tend to stick to the surface of the abrasive and become part of the abrading action. By using uh, a lubricant uh, such as the Formula 409 or WD-40, uh, it will reduce the amount of uh, swarf that sticks to the surface and it's more easily wiped off then so that it will last longer. On the coarser abrasives, coarser than 9 micron, you can just use water. So now we're at 1 micron. We'll snap this into position. Again, touch down lightly. And at this point, we wipe it off. We have a really nice edge on that bevel. If you have any other questions about the lap sharp, sharpening methods, please feel free to contact us and visit our website at www.woodartistry.com. Thank you.